Morning folks, today I'm going to have a go at making a chimney cowl, uh, if you know what them is William. I've got one of these on the cabin, and that sits on the roof, and then I've got a 60mm pipe that comes out, which is my chimney, but water keeps getting in it, so I've got to try and make a decent cowl for it. So I've got a scrap piece of, I don't know it's aluminium or whatever, or just tin, just scrap, a lid off a saucepan might be a little bit overkill but we'll see and then a sharpie the first thing to do you want to do is mark out this is only me having a go I'm not telling you go and buy one if you want but I'm just gonna mark it oh, did I move that then I think I did right let's try that again And then you're going to need a pair of decent snips. Start. Maybe I should have brought it towards the edge a bit more. Silly me. There you go. And you can these are not these are just a pair of snips that I've got, but you can get the curvy ones, which will cut probably a lot easier. But we're doing it. Okay, I shall carry on with this and I'll come back to you in a sec. By the magic of video, done. This has got a bit of a white plastic on the, on the front, on the top, so I'll probably do it that side up. Now what we want to do, we want to cut to the centre. From anywhere, it doesn't matter where. So roughly you want to get to the centre of this. That's going to be a good guess, so let me have a quick look, a quick measure. So roughly, it's about two at the widest point, should be about there, 222. So I'm going to go for 111. So I'll make just a rough mark of 111. I'll get them really happy. It's only rough. It's only a rough guess. So sorry, I'm trying to get you in the camera as well. So 110, 111. Somewhere. That should be the middle. Next bit is just roughly Okay, and now what we're going to do, we've got to manipulate it so that putting a bend in it, it's a bit stiff, but it doesn't matter if you make creases in it. So you want to, so it overlaps. See what I mean? See what I'm doing? So we end up like a Chinese hat. And then I'm going to drill this and pop rivet this. You might want a pair of gloves. So what I'm going to do is just keep, 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 just bending it round. Doesn't matter if you make kinks in it. It's only going to sit on the top of the chimney, and eventually you'll see it overlapping. 
and it'll stay like that so you know here we go not somewhere near we don't need too much much bigger than that here you look you can squeeze a bit more if you want look that's not far off pick up old faithful these are really good they have nothing to do with makita but these do or last a long time anyway so you watch your fingers on this put it in the position you want and hold it in that position i want a couple in here really so that's the furthest one uh you should be on a bench but for purposes i'm just Nice sharp one. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is pop rivet it. If that's the right size. Maybe not. Maybe a smaller one. Doesn't really matter. And there we go. But I'll pop rivet it the other way up. So you don't see that. Uh, Bit of, oh, come on. And you're going to have to choose the right head for your pop rivet gun as well. So, oh, let's oh, get that one out. Just tighten them up. Holding in position once you've got your gun on. Oh, no, let me just extend this first because I'm going to have to be difficult holding this and pulling it at the same time. So, uh. okay, try again. That was the wrong one as well. Okay, so. You need to pull it as tight as you can. Okay. Since I'm just using my weight against the uh, the gun. should do it. So I'll pop another one in just about there if we can get him in. Yeah we should do. We go and I'll pop that one. Okay, so there's your cowl top. Maybe I should have put the pop boots the other way. Yeah, maybe I should have done. I might even do that, it'll look nicer. So I've decided to go from the top. And I've used a bigger. Try and do all this without a voice. There we go. So I've used a bigger one, so I'll put a different head in, and uh, yeah, I'll do that one now. Let's see if I can get this in picture for you.
There you go. So, so I'm using my waist at the same time I'm filming. So, so a little bit. There you go. Okay, for the legs that I'm going to use, I'm going to use 200 mil length, uh, and I'm going to use it the width of the ruler to make life a lot easier. So I'm going to mark three of these out. So at 200 mil. Uh, this stuff is slightly thicker gauge as well. So. I'm going to allow a fraction for the cutting. 200 mil again. Allow a little bit. Just like so. 200 mil. So I'm marking 200 mil from the, from the bottom here. Take to the highest point. That didn't work. I will I'll do the first one and then the last one. You don't want to cut that out first because you find it difficult to hold, I think. Well, that's what I'm going to do anyway. So I'll start off with this on the line. Ooh, this is good quality. I think it's stainless steel by now when I look at it. And you will need a good pair of these snips. It does make a massive difference. Well, nearly off, nearly off. Okay, so that's pretty, yeah, that's what you want. So I'm going to bend that over the top by about an inch. Then I'll pot with that. So that will show you that in a minute. And then it depends what you want to do with these and what chimney it's going on. You can make them as long or as narrow as you want, really. the three legs you can have four if you wanted to it depends what you want to do on mine I've got holes around the uh, spark arrestor so I don't really want to block the holes up so that's why I'm going to do three legs right let's get these fitted I'm going to pop two pop rivets in one about here and one about there that way it'll stop any movement so it won't be doing I mean once it's fixed anyway to the chimney it's not going to move much anyway, but I just like it for security, not security, so it doesn't flap about too much, too much anyway. So I'm going to lay about an inch, and I'll drill them now. I've drilled a hole in one. I'm going to drill the hole where I marked it on this. The simple reason is I'm going to... That way, it stays in position when I drill the other one. So that's what I'm going to do. So that one, line them up, and then drill the next one. Push the rivet back down again. And this should be the last one. I don't mean the last one, I mean the last pull, push. And there we go. That's pretty solid already, so I'll put another one in just here and then I will bend that I'll show you I'll show you in a minute okay two done on the one 
And then what I'd do then is bend it like so, which is quite straightforward. And you're going to bend it into position where it's going to hit. So your chimney is going to be here. And then you'd either put a kink in it like that. Can you see that? I'll come back a bit. Okay, so we're going to pretend, pretend this is my chimney coming out, which is steel. So what you'd do then, so this would be on top. And then this would be here. And then you could either pot rivet it to your chimney. Or you could, super, well I used a Jubilee clip because I've got a, a bodge one at the moment, so that's why I'm making this one. Uh, and that's it, I'll just carry on and I'll show you when it's finished. And this should be the last. And there you go. So, bend them. Bend them all the same, like so. Well, you don't have to, you can put a kink in if you want, like that. But just, you know, so wherever you want the kink to be. And then we'll use our dummy chimney. If you can see that, just come down a bit. Sorry, guys, sorry, girls. So if I just put them inside like that. Alright, let's come back. And you have, and there you go. Actually, <laughs> self supported. So, a very cheap and easy uh, chimney cowl for either a small log burner or wherever you are, or a hot tent burning. Um, so, you needed one, two, three, four, five, six, eight pot rivets, a pot rivet gun, and a pair of cutters. And that's all I've used. And uh, I actually probably will be putting this on mine because it is a little bit more sturdier than what I have got. It'll be a lot... When it's fixed, it won't wobble like that. But, uh, yeah. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. It's helped somebody. Uh, how to build a cheap chimney cowl for either log burners or whatever. All right, thanks very much. Take care. If you'd like to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell, that would be great. Uh, and just give me a thumbs up and like. It helps the channel a great deal. Thanks very much indeed. Take care. Catch you in the next vid.